What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 4 of our Python with PyQt tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about having custom methods or functions uh, when you go to click your button. So custom event handling. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is let's go ahead and create the method that we want to use when we click a button. So you can put this method really anywhere within our window class, but I think it's best to have like your, your init obviously at the top then maybe your views and then your methods below. You might also, a lot of people get angry because I write everything in one script. You might also have another script for, you know, methods that you might run or something like that. But until an application gets to like over a thousand lines, I really think it's unnecessary to make a bunch of extra files. But do what you want. So define, uh, and this one's going to be define close underscore application. And again, you have self. Now, then we're going to go print and then we'll just say, whoa, so custom. And then we'll just run a simple sys.exit. And that should, that should close, every, close it for everybody there. Now, then we come here and button.click.connect. We can replace this here with self.close underscore application. Now, when we go to run this, <clears throat> we can click quit, and then not only did it quit, but we also got our whoa, so custom message. Now I understand you're probably like, oh, well, we already had something that could quit. This is stupid, you know, or something like that. Uh, and really, like, closing an application or quitting is, like, the easiest thing to code besides, like, maybe a print function, but we also want to show that we can do stuff with the application. We could also do other things, you know, you could say uh, something like this. Instead of exit, you could, you could leave print, or, you know, whoa, so custom. We could do set window title, pi qt tuts, with more exclamation points. Should be able to get away with this. We'll see. <laughs> Quit. And then, yeah, so you can see that we got more expl exclamation points. And so I was, th that's really just a quick example, but it's good enough to show that you can start modifying the window with these methods. You don't necessarily have to quit or something like that, but we're going to leave this quit and we'll, we'll actually build up this quit more as time goes on. Uh, but anyways, that's the quit. And now the only other thing I want to show you guys before we move on uh, is going to be, we're going to come down to uh, this button definition here. And there's a couple of things that are kind of built in to QT, which are kind of nice. So you have button resize and button move. You can leave button move alone, but resize, if you recall, there was a, a default size, right? So if we ran this without specifying any size to our button, that's the size. And in fact, let's put it at zero, zero, so we can use, um, we can use the title as a point of reference. So as you can see, this is a pretty big button and it goes past the, the window title. Now, we can also do uh, button resize 100, 100. Okay, so that's now at the top corner. And then we can also put in a different parameter here. We can say button and we're gonna say the size we want it to be is btn.size hint. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to pat QT is going to give us sort of a, a hint at what size maybe we ought to use. And this is in accordance to how much space is there, how many other buttons we have and so on. And it might behoove you to use size hint on all of your buttons uh, just so you can have um, some, you know, some sort of uh, automated structure. Now, so when we run size hint, you can see we're actually returned a pretty small button and it doesn't quite go past, or it might, but it would be slight if it did, uh, the title, but it's much smaller. So you've got size hint, and then you've also got another one, which is uh, minimum size hint, and that will return the smallest suggested size. So size hint will return just like uh, the best it thinks and then you can also pass in minimum size so it'll return to you like the smallest it thinks is also acceptable now as we can see this returned basically the same thing uh, so there's not much difference here uh, but you just can know that these two things exist so we can leave uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 100 well I can't decide what I want. Well, we'll leave minimum size in. That's totally fine. It doesn't really matter what we do with this button. You can do what you want as well. 
So anyways, that's that with uh, this application and buttons and doing your own little custom methods. Don't worry, we will build up uh, our own custom methods to be a little cooler than what this one is doing. But I think it's good to start with the basics first, or at least keeping things basic so it's easy to understand how simple this connection really is. Now, uh, in the next video, what we're going to be talking about is adding a main menu to our window because that's something pretty much everybody wants. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.